Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to share with you how I have put together a very simple and inexpensive coffee station. With the cooler months rolling in, I really wanted to gather all of our hot cocoa and coffee supplies and create a little station. I just think it'll be fun when we have guests over and also to enjoy with our family. So I really did not wanna spend a lot of money on this because I'm not sure if this is going to be a permanent setup or if it's just going to be temporary during the cooler months. So I got a lot of items that I can use um, throughout the season, but aren't necessarily specific to a coffee station. So let me share with you how I've set this up. So first, I knew I needed a place to store my mugs that we're going to be using most uh, regularly, and I didn't want to use a coffee mug rack, just because, again, that can really be used only for one purpose, and I needed something that I could switch out if I decide to take this coffee station down. So I found this uh, crate here at Hobby Lobby. I found it in the unfinished wood section. A great tip is if you're looking for any sort of wooden crate or box or pallet sign um, or signs in general that are unfinished, I would check that section out of the store because you can get things at a lot cheaper price than in their seasonal decor sections and you can just finish it um, to your liking. So this crate was only $7.99 and I did have a 40% off coupon so that brought the price down even more. I can use this to store my mugs and a few other things behind here but I can also use it um, as a centerpiece or just a decorative item when I do not want to use this area as a coffee station. So the mug here came from Hobby Lobby and my kitchen has a buffalo check theme. I am obsessed with buffalo check. So I knew this would be a great addition to my kitchen even if I don't have this coffee station set up. The mugs up top were actually just from the Dollar Tree. I really wanted a streamlined, simple look because this is on my countertop and I feel like if I got mugs that were too busy, it would look cluttered and a little bit overwhelming. So I stuck with just plain white mugs um, that go along the top here that we can use for drinks. I did get these three canisters from Marshalls. They were very inexpensive. One just says coffee, sugar, and the one behind here is um, labeled milk. But I figured it would be kind of cute to put seasonal um, stirrers in there and just kind of use that as a decorative piece for the holidays and different seasons. I got um, this Hello Pumpkin sign at um, Marshall's and that was very inexpensive it was under five dollars and it just kind of adds a little seasonal touch I also got these faux pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and they were about a dollar on sale so um, together I think it looks really really cute um, we do have just a traditional coffee maker my husband loves coffee I am more of a hot chocolate girl but he does not prefer K cups so we just use a traditional uh, black and decker coffee maker and he loves it directly below the coffee station we have two drawers and I have organized some more um, coffee station items if you will in those drawers so this smaller drawer here just holds the coffee filters in my husband's coffee um, the overflow that doesn't fit in the canister and in this drawer this is kind of like the hot cocoa tea station so it has different sprinkles and toppings for hot cocoa it also holds our hot cocoa and a few different teas so everything is nice and compact right in this one area we can get to everything that we need very easily it will be easy to entertain and um, serve guests and it just looks really nice for the holidays and different seasons. So if you're interested in making a little coffee station, you don't have to spend a lot of money and make a big investment. You can just find different items that can be used for more than one purpose at a cheaper cost and create a seasonal coffee station for your liking. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. I will see you soon.